Here's a look at the chain sun blade and what I want to do is make a copy of it to use as a template so I'm copying the face of it so I'm going to cover it with masking tape and then cover the masking tape with some five minute epoxy and before the epoxy cures I want to remove the uh, tape and the epoxy outside the edge of the blade. Then I'm going to take and mark the blade uh, template so that uh, I wind up with a cut line for the leading edge. And here I've removed the epoxy template from the blade and I'm going to take the Dremel tool and actually trim back the uh, leading edge. Then I'm going to check the fit and once I'm happy with the fit then I'm going to start marking the blades. I'm going to start with this number 8 blade and uh, I'm going to mark the leading edge of the blade and then mark right down the edge of the epoxy template and I'm just going to fill in the gap between the two marks. Now you can see here the result of marking using the template. This is with the template removed. You can see I get a nice crisp line. So we'll go over and do another blade. Here's blade number four. Again using the epoxy template for marking and then remove the epoxy template and that's how the, uh, the finished marking looks. Now yesterday I did the, basically the same thing but I used a cardboard template shown here on the left and the results are up above the template and today I spent oh, probably maybe two hours making the epoxy template. Yesterday it only took me about 10 minutes to make the cardboard template. Uh, you can decide how much time you want to spend making a template. The results kind of speak for themselves. I think they both turned out really well.